Hi guys and welcome back to Tommy Starcraft, this is your host Tommy with another Starcraft Remastered replay for you guys. Once again we have a great engagement here from the South Korean pro scene, as we have spawning here in the upper right in the white it is best, a very very talented uh, Protoss player of course. And his opponent is going to be none other here than spawning in the lower left in the red, it is Flash who is considered to be actually the best gamer of this uh, of the StarCraft game. Of course, this is arguably as uh, if Jadong had a good uh, good day or Bisu had a good day, they pretty much did uh, beat uh, Flash, of course. Jadong, of course, the rival here from Flash. So a pretty interesting Terran vs Protoss we have here. In case you're looking at the minimap, we also have here another Terran and another Terran here. Of course, these are just observers. They will kill their SCVs here. Let's just have a look, probably these two SCVs will fight it out here pretty soon. Just have a look who's going to win. Probably they're going to kill each other. No, one SCV actually makes it out alive. And of course the same has happened here in the upper left part of the map. So as we also see Bisu here observing this game. We have Last and so on and so on. Merry Ma Zero of course. Merry Merry Pro Gamers uh, observing here this game between Flash and Best. A flash opening up here with a supply depot nicely placed here next to his uh, SCVs just to protect them a little bit. Let's just have a look now at the base from uh, Best. He's pretty much standard opening up here with a pylon and of course op uh, following up here with his gateway and his gas so no out of the ordinary gameplay here by both players no proxy pylons in the middle of the map the same can be said about the terran no proxy barracks in the middle of the map of course this could be an option if you're a terran but it's also very very risky as you could put two barracks in the middle of the map and just follow up with the SCV push out and a bunker rush but it is very very rare and of course very very risky at the same time Flash is um, continuing here with a very likely barracks no it's actually his expansion so he's building an expansion here probably going to wall this in here with a bunker or a barracks pretty much soon just to secure his expanding location Let's have a look, it is indeed a uh, barrack and best at the same time is already moving out here with his probe just to check the position here from um, Flash. So no fast expansion here for best even though the map would allow it. Of course we have four spawning location here on this map. Best already moving out here. Doesn't find Flash here. He's going to be very likely going to follow up in the lower left part of the map. As he's already mining gas. Let's just have a look at Flash a little bit late with his gas. But like I told you guys, his expansion is on point. He's very, very fast as we're closing in at a 3 minute mark. Both players currently at 17, at 16 workers of. Let's just have a look at the follow up. Uh, Flash cancels one of his SCVs just to move out here on the map. A pretty nice uh, move out here by him. The barracks should be finished. This probe might get, uh, might be a little bit of annoying, of course. Just dealing as much uh, damage as possible. And perhaps even killing this SCV. You know, the SCV is actually now fighting for his life. He has to move out. And the, and the expansion will be, of course, uh, relocated here. Um, the bar the bunker is going to be finished up as Flash of course wishes to protect here this expansion against a Dragoon attack or maybe some Zealots but I'm pretty sure that uh, Best is going into mass Dragoons indeed. Is this a Zealot here? No, it's just a Dragoon. So uh, Best already out of the map even uh, sniffs out here this SCV. He might take it out as the Dragoon is a little bit faster here as this SCV. So pretty good stuff here by Best. First kill for him as Flash doesn't really know exactly what uh, Best is up to. Of course he spotted that uh, Dragoon so he will of course think that a, a soon aggression is going to follow up here against his bunker. However the bunker needs to be uh, repaired here by SCV. So for example if we have three or four Dragoons here, three Dragoons can of course be fended up by a reparation of uh, three SCVs on that bunker. At the same time the range needs to be uh, upgraded here by the Protoss. I'm pretty sure he does just that with that cybernetic score as we have the first engagement here with those two Dragoons against the bunker and this is what I told you guys. If you just leave two SCVs here you counter the two Dragoons. Of course sadly for Flash this will cost him a little bit of minerals. Let's just see his timing on that factory. There is his factory with the add-on and of course he's going for uh, some tanks. Tanks of course if you siege them up here in these locations the Dragoons won't be able to attack them so you should be fine. He's even adding a missile turret. Of course missile turrets not only anti-air but also very good against uh, 
to detect uh, invisible units like uh, the Dark Templars from the Protoss and of course the Observer. Let's just have a look uh, when exactly the tank from Flash is going to come out pretty pretty soon as the siege ability is of course being researched. So this is nicely being held off here by Flash. The move out could come here in here by Bass but there's actually three three marines into that bunker so it could be very risky he could of course deal some economic damage here but he might lose a dragoon or two now actually goes for the SCVs but flash really really fast with his uh, microing here saving that SCV is moving it into the bunker and out so really really good stuff here as we already have uh, the siege tank ability and of course best has to move out here a little bit so a nice tactic here shown to us by best of course it's very annoying for the terran to face this he has to fend it off with that siege tank at the same time best doing a really good job here with his expansion a very fast observatory here for him so his first observer should follow up here on the map as he's also expanding here at the three o'clock position let's just have a look at his main what exactly he's going for it's just gateways gateways yeah three gateways four gateways in total and a robotics facility so the first observer is going to come out very important of course as it's an invisible unit just to detect those mines from the turn as i'm pretty sure that uh, flash is of course going to go into a mass mech uh, build up here like most turns do so this means just mass factories is going into vultures, goliaths and uh, tanks. Actually just uh, a lot of vultures with tanks, goliaths of course just in case the Protoss is going for some carriers of course. And Flash has also shown us in previous replays that he likes to go for some science vessel with that EMP shockwave against uh, arbiters, against the uh, Protoss units, uh, very very good against the shield. Let's just have a look at the follow-up here. Nice wall in here with pylons just to protect here this ramp from the expansion. Both players at the same number of uh, workers. Flash, however, only at two uh, bases against the three from uh, Best here. Best with no zealous, just Dragoon. Zero, zero upgraded. I don't see a forge yet for him, just for any more upgrades. As things have finally settled down, this observer is chilling out here on the map is perhaps going to get spotted by the turret and the full first uh, drive out here by flash with those vultures he might want to place as many mines as possible on the map just to deal as much uh, splash damage as possible and just uh, stop any force in through here by uh, by best just checking the water a little bit here on the map of course best is checking this expansion here perhaps uh, flash is going to build his expansion around here no nothing yet as he's just going for that starport and for his uh, science facility of course he puts a lot of importance here into these uh, science vessels they are very good against detecting these observers of course detecting dark templars and of course with that uh, uh, EMP shockwave they can deal so much uh, damage against uh, the protoss shields but also can fend off the arbiters recalls and soak up the mana from the arbiters as very much uh, very many protos do like to go into arbiters we already see that first starport it could be carriers but i'm pretty sure that he's actually going for uh, arbiters we have a templar archive so we might see some psionic storm here on the map some dark templars perhaps once again flash is moving out here with his vultures but best prepared for that with that observer of course Oh, vultures very very fast not only good just to place mines all over the map but also good for scouting there's strangely enough a shuttle here with some zealots and a probe so this uh, indicates to us that best is of course trying to expand here on this location he just has to wait a little bit and just to clear those mines so flash buying here some time for him just uh, denying that expansion here for best but slowly but steadily best is moving out Flash perhaps just waits to kill that one probe and indeed he does. A oh, good uh, catch here by Flash. But the shuttle of course is going to very likely pick up another probe or some probes are going to get uh, transferred here on the map towards uh, the other base. There's a nice uh, dropship here by Flash. So a dropship actually made here by him. So no science uh, vessel yet. So an aggressive move here by Flash. Of course he's going to jump over his pilots and just... Uh, drop here his units two vultures and a siege tank siege tank might siege up of course good mine placement here and the uh, splash damage is real and so much uh, mining time has been denied 
And these probes could actually just kill these uh, tanks if they're being microed. Well, but of course it's going to take so much, so much time. So nice uh, stuff here by Flash with his first aggression. Already dealing dam damage to that uh, expansion. And also denying once again the mining time here for uh, for best. Of course this is going to be fended off, but a little bit of a small victory here for Flash as some probes have been killed. Even we know he has already 17 versus uh, 30, 63 here by best so best moves out here on the map with his dragoons he's trying to kill as many mines as possible which are being placed here by uh, flash is there going to be another aggression here by flash with this uh, uh, drop let's just have a look he's probably going for those probes only one vulture is being dropped but best doing a great job here against that. Look at that, he even kills that dropship. So he's really, really good against this aggression. Some probes will, of course, fall here. Probes actually fighting for their lives now. Two probes have been killed, but the vultures have already been damaged. So pretty good stuff here. Is this going to be a first uh, arbiter here? Indeed it is. So pretty standard gameplay here by Best, but at the same time he's very good at defending against uh, Flash. Flash very aggressive here with his vultures. He tries to deal as much economic damage as possible, but if you look at the work account, uh, Best doing his best here uh, <laughs> to fend this attack off here by Flash. So this is actually the tactic here from Flash, moving out with his vultures uh, slowly but steadily, moving out with some turrets here just in case to detect some uh, uh, invisible aggression here, but at the same time he has so many siege tanks. Let's just have a look at the upgrades, 0 to 2, good uh, upgrades here for him, 0 to 1 for the Dragoons of Best. As once again he's slowly moving out on the map, having pretty good map dominance here for him. Some zealots with dragoons, of course, we might see some recalls as this arbiter is going to uh, pop out some stasis fields against those tanks. We really much needed if you're a Protoss facing a Terran, especially a strong Terran here like a Flash. Let's not forget that Terran also has the scan ability, so of course he knows exactly what is coming towards him as best goes into more gateways. He even adds another starport here. Have a look at, look at the Flash. We have the standard Terran uh, gameplay against the Protoss mass factories, no bio, no uh, barracks here for Flash, just uh, mass factories, 5, 6, 7, 8, 8 factories currently, he might even add some more factories. Tries to drive through here just to deal as much economic damage as possible as once again, some siege tanks are joining here, the fight, these dragons will really likely fall, and now he's going for the probes, but there are no probes yet. As he's just mining his way here through the first zealot soaking up uh, all those mines so Flash needs to be careful those mines could hit him as well. Pretty good stuff here by West with his zealots dealing massive splash damage of course against uh, the Terran so Flash in a little bit of trouble now of course his forces will fall here the damage has been done and Flash wasn't really that successful here against this expansion as uh, there's not that many probes have been killed, however, if I look at the probe count, some probes have fallen. Indeed, 10 probes have fallen. So perhaps at the transfer of the probes, uh, Flash might have taken out with those fast vultures. Pretty much a lot of probes. So this is his tactics, just to kill as many probes as possible, just to deny that economic dam uh, advantage here for the Protoss. As he just sieges up here in his main. And just moves out here with his vultures. No Goliaths yet. I see a here for Flash, just one chilling here. But I think he needs much more if he wishes to counter these uh, arbiters. Of course, he needs some anti air. There are the anti air. And this is how uh, Terrans usually defend against drops of arbiters. They just place mass mines. So, in case the Protoss is going to do a drop, those mines will deal massive splash damage here against that drop. A pretty good job here by Flash, at the same time pretty good uh, engagement here by Bass is actually able to take out one of those science vessels, of course a lot of splash damage has been done, however many, uh, a lot of mining time has been denied here, these vultures should be able to fend off this attack. As Bass did his uh, good job here, but sadly for him, he just dropped exactly on those mines all over the place here, so Flash pretty much sure is going to once again build those mines up just to protect his expansions here 
So pretty good stuff by both players. Sadly for best, of course, he just straight recalled here into those mines. So Flash just showing us how exactly you can defend your expansion against a recall uh, uh, aggression by the Protoss. No mines here for him, of course, he's uh, alert with those uh, turrets. So I'm thinking that pretty much he's going to invest a lot of into defenses here. Of, and once again, look at that, he's going to place as many mines as possible here at his expansion at the same time really nice macro orientated game here by best once again more and more gateways are being added he's expanding all over the place it's no probes here mining for him there might be an engagement pretty soon here both of these players are maxed out here we go uh, vultures in the front followed by siege tanks uh, flash is moving more and more out on the map let me just have a quick look at the uh, upgrade 0 to 2 for uh, best and flash already at 2 to 3 so flash really giving a lot of importance here to his uh, upgrades 2 to 3 already for his tanks and vultures and glides as he's uh, positioning himself here in the center of the map uh, best has to move out of course one science vessel here for flash there's even a dropship here for the te for the Protoss with lots of high tempers of Psionic Storm of course with that splash damage could deal a lot of damage here best needs to be careful here we go Zealots in the front scan is going out nice Psionic Storm another Psionic Storm so much Psionic Storm so much splash damage here by best really really good engagement here for him Zealots in the front once again and another Psionic Storm here for him so a lot of splash damage has been dealt Flash losing so so many units but the same can be said here for uh, best of course and even a good uh, stasis field here for him just to deny that uh, uh, science vessel science vessel are being targeted good uh, catch out here by uh, best as flash however continues to uh, move out here on the map there's a small engagement here with one zealot nicely hidden tanks here in the back flash however keeps moving forward here uh, there's a nice arbiter here making those uh, units invisible it's just tanks here we have a nice dropship here with uh, that's uh, zealot but however flash has unseached his siege tanks now if he would have been sieged of course that uh, zealot would have dealt mass, mass splash damage but flash very fast reacting here and of course the first victory here for him as he kills that expansion and sadly for best he's not able to deal any any damage here as these vultures are of course uh, defending this uh, location at the same time flash is moving out here with his tanks remember his upgrades sh are two to three really really strong against zero to two here from uh, uh, best perhaps these upgrades will very likely win him this uh, game but be both players are uh, maxed out here uh, not that many forces here to defend this base here from best best in a little bit of trouble two arbiters are on the map his reinforcements are just here at his main he's a little bit split up so he's in some trouble flash keeps moving out with his tanks with his science vessel hold on the science vessel has been killed so he has actually no detection here just a scan so he needs to be a little bit of careful there's finally now a nice group up here for dragoons trying to deal as much economic damage as possible but flash already losing so many workers 53 only for him as best senses more and more units here at the center or best losing a lot of probes here for him as well there's a nice sea, uh, zealot here that deals splash damage thanks to the fact that the tanks are attacking their own tanks uh, uh, with that splash damage but uh, slowly but steadily flash moves out here with his uh, falcons with his uh, sorry falcons with his vultures <laughs> and the, t the siege tanks are of course able to kill this position here taking out so many uh, probes a nice uh, group up here for best however if you look at the probe count and the scv count there's still 50 55 versus 59 so still still very very balanced here perhaps another recall is going to be tried here no zealots once again in the front just to soak up those uh, mines good splash damage here once again dealing splash damage to those vultures as well in comes the science vessel here by uh, flash yes he did indeed uh, EMP those uh, arbiters another EMP goes out good stasis trap here by him but in the end this choke point is just very very bad here for uh, best as he has to move back flash being able to he hold his uh, aggression off at the same time he's trying to uh, surround here his opponent 
so best in some serious trouble. He walks into those mines, gets so much splash damage here out of those mines, vultures and tanks all over the place. Best is being cornered here, there's no way for him to get out, he's in some serious trouble. Scan goes out and all of his forces will sadly for him fall flash. Very very strong, very very dominant as Best of course tries, he's GGing out, good stasis field here by him, but sadly this expansion has been lost, this expansion and the fact that Flash held this position here very very good secured him his victory, so pretty pretty nice uh, gameplay here uh, early aggression here with those dropships by Flash and nice uh, drops sadly for uh, Bass this drop on those mines was very very bad for him as the splash damage was real with those mines so Flash showing us the importance of mines and once again he adds one or two science vessel into this uh, army so he's not going only for uh, tanks Goliaths and vultures is actually showing us the importance of those science vessels with that EMP very very much needed and of course a detector against observers and dark templars at the same time he moved out here slowly with some uh, turrets just to have uh, as much map awareness as possible Bass did a great job at the beginning of the game a really, really nice macro orientated game so look at how many uh, gateways he has but sadly for him flash just all over the place uh, has proven to be the better gamer for now so i hope you guys enjoyed this replay thank you guys so much for watching i see you guys in the next replay